Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devi and uh, today I'm going to do a quick and short uh, review video on a uh, straightener which I purchased recently and uh, that is the Philips Kera Shine Advanced uh, Straightener. So I recently purchased this off Amazon and uh, I was looking for reviews and I couldn't really find much uh, useful reviews uh, on this particular product. So after I got this, I thought why not I do a review for people who would be wanting to purchase one and it would be really useful as to what my thoughts are on this. So without further ado, let's see what I have to say about this Philips straightener. So the packaging is something like this. It comes in a box like this. And uh, it's pretty simple. It just comes with the user manual. And I have the product here. This is how it looks. It's pink in color. It has a on off button over here. And then it has certain temperature settings and that's about it it's simple now let's just see what this product is all about uh, this says uh, these plates the ironing plates are silk pro care plates which means it helps in gliding through the hair very smoothly and it's supposed to remove the frizz and uh, these are keratin ceramic plates again for smooth gliding and it's supposed to give shiny air um, ionic care for shiny frizz free hair and it's got six temperature settings that is from um, 160 degrees to 200 degrees uh, centigrade. Now these keratin ceramic uh, plates are supposed to make it, uh, it's going to, it's supposed to minimize the friction that you would feel. Uh, so right now it's not on. So I'm just showing you it's supposed to make it very easy to glide it through your hair so i've used this uh, product a couple of times so far and i have used it today as well so you can see the results of what it does and i didn't want like poker straight hair i just wanted to kind of uh, remove the frizz and all that so i used it for that purpose and I used it on 180 degrees centigrade so it's got six settings but uh, you, you have to use the setting as per the thickness of your hair if you got like thin hair or something just go with 160 degrees centigrade so if your hair is thicker or anything like that just you can go up the scale but be very careful that you don't uh, burn your hair so that's something and um, don't hold the hair at one place for too long a time it's always hold it firm and keep moving the iron like that so that's something about it so I've used it it's normally certain straighteners I've used quite a few straighteners are that when you apply a product in your hair let it be a heat, protect, heat protectant or a, any sort of a serum the straightener tugs at the place where the product is it, it kind of you know tugs a little bit so this is something which doesn't tug it really goes on smoothly as they claim they say smoother than silk the way it glides so it when you see the way i'm moving it it moves very nicely there's no kind of a friction as far as that is concerned so the claim over there is perfect it's, it's as per it acts as per the claim so there is a on off button which i'm going to switch on and it kind of uh, heats up like in less than a minute i think it takes about 30 seconds let's just switch it on so you can see the light blinking over them 
and you have a plus and minus button over here that's for the settings you go up if you that it goes up or if you want to lower the heat it's basically to control the temperature of the straightener so I've just switched it on when it stops blinking that means the straightener is ready to be used so it's now ready to be used so I'm just going to just for demo purpose I'm just going to take a little bit of my hair because I've already done it I just don't want to overdo or apply heat in this you see the way it glides at the same time it straightens the hair as well I usually straighten the pieces around my face so the pieces which kind of frame my face I just do straighten them and then when I do want to turn it off and it goes off so, an another interesting thing to note is it it has a rounded kind of uh, you know contour so basically if you if you know how to kind of curl your head with a straightener this makes it very easy so basically to you know maneuver the straightener is easy so you do that so it's very light as well it's not heavy so people who like to uh, curl their hair as in not too tight curls and you want a light curl you can do that with this and it's very light you could do that with this so something like this so let me know if you want to see a video as to how to curl your hair with a straightener so i do it once in a while like i straighten this bit and i try to curl this way down so that looks nice and you can do it with this straightener and uh, you have the lock kind of a thing so you just kind of press it and and it's locked so this makes it very travel friendly so but it, you don't get a pouch or anything with this so that's one uh, thing about it you don't get a pouch to carry it but then it does lock so make sure that the plates are cool uh, when you're locking it so don't lock it when the plates are like hot so let it cool and then you lock it up so this is something just simple I thought uh, one of the one of good um, what to say straighteners in our Indian market available today that is uh, which is kind of affordable around 3600 rupees and you do get about 13% um, off on Amazon it's a, uh, on Amazon or uh, Nika also it's available so look at a time when it's on a discount or something so if you're looking for something a budget friendly uh, what to say a straightener with a lot of heat settings I think this is one of the good ones in the Indian market so as I said before the main reason for doing this video is just to uh, let people know it's a lot of us do uh, check for reviews either on uh, you know on the website or we tend to look up on YouTube if people have reviewed those products when I found that I, there weren't many reviews for this I just thought I'll do one so that it will be useful for anybody who is wanting to purchase one I'm the kind of person who sees kind of reviews and what people have to say about uh, uh, products before I purchase especially if we are spending a little more than change so uh, I just thought I'll do this video hope this video was useful to you with Christmas round the corner if you want to gift it or something you want to gift it for yourself or something like this this is a nice gift idea as well for uh, 
anybody who likes to iron their hair so hope you like this video and uh, don't forget to subscribe before you go and do hit on the like button if you like this video until my next video bye bye